Today, LeBron and Jordan's team will be racing to see who can score 100,000 points first. But every two minutes of the game, I will spin a wheel twice that includes upgrades for the amount of points certain shots are worth. Comment below which team you think is going to win and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 100K. I'll also be doing a Q&A over the course of this video, so stay tuned for that. Let's go. All right, well, let's going to go ahead and see what's going to be added to the scoreboard first. It's going to be layup plus 50. So every time someone makes a layup in the game, it's going to be worth 50 points. And now for our second spin, that's going to go ahead and be a layup plus 100. Okay. So now layups are worth 150 points, and it's the only way you can actually score in this game so far. All right, well, here we go. Two minutes of NBA basketball. LeBron going to post up MJ here going to work. He might lay this up, and he's going to do a little hook. We count that as a layup. That's going to be 150 points for the Lakers. So it is now 150 to 0. And B set a screen for Luka. Step back, 0. And it's in. Bird wide open for 0. Knocks it down. You guys better be making these shots when you actually can score points. And we got two seconds left here. One, and we're going to go ahead and pause it. That's been two minutes. 150 to nothing after two minutes. So I guess we'll go ahead and spin that wheel to try to get something else other than a let. Bro, <laughs> this is insane. Layups are now worth 300 points. Can there be any other form of scoring besides layups? Okay, free throws plus 100. It's still driving. That's good. So for each free throw that you make, it'll be worth 100 points. Now we're on the two more minutes of basketball. Kawhi trying to drive to the basket. Here, throws it down. That's a dunk, not a layup. So that's no points for Kawhi. Magic gonna try to drive here, spinning, and oh, he dived it to Kareem there. Maybe if he goes up, oh, he got fouled. So the Bulls finally have a chance to get some points here. First free throw is in. That's 100 points. Second free throw to take a 50-point lead, and they got it. They're up 50 points. Luka driving. Oh, good block. Oh, but he got the layup to go. That's 300 points for the Lakers, putting them at 450 points. Magic using the screen here. Step back. Zero. Got it. Zero points. Oh, nice pass there, and that is a layup for Embiid. So another 300 points for the Lakers. Kobe cut off the screen right here for zero. Knocks it down. Good shot. We got four seconds left here. Three, two, one. And we're going to go ahead and pause it. It is a 750 to 200 game right now. Let's see if we'll get any other forms of scoring on this wheel. It's going to be dunk plus 100. So now anytime somebody dunks, it'll be worth 100 points. Can we get some points for jumpers? There's been a lot of jumpers to go in. A three-point shot worth 100 points. That's perfect. Finally, some outside shooting. That'll be actually worth something for this video. MJ trying to drive to the basket. Dives with the bird and bird throws it out to 100 points for the ball. You're only down 450 points. LeBron going to use the Embiid screen. Drive to the basket. Throws it down. Another 100 for the Lakers. Kobe wide open from three. Knocks it down. Another 100 points for the Bulls. They're going to keep running those pin down screens all day long. Kawhi going to pull the three. Knocks it down. Oh, my God. MJ using the Kareem screen. MJ trying to get some space. Floats it up and in. We're going to count that as a layup. That'll be 300 points. Kobe trying to drive to the basket here. Dives with the bird. Bird. Oh, he got fouled. And one count it. I mean, it's worth zero points, so it doesn't really matter. But he does get the free throw there, so that'll be 100 points. And I did forget to pause the game there. That is my bad on that. We, we you know, we went a little couple seconds over, but it's all good. We still got the score right. All right, so our first question here is from We Love Clutch. He asks, how did YNG know he he was YNG like what moment happened that you knew you were YNG and also where did the name originate from love the vids much love I appreciate it man so if you don't know YNG stands for young narrow gaming so this name actually came from high school and kids just say I had a narrow head so I just took that and then combined it with young and then gaming at the end it's really that simple all right and now we have a question from Aquaberry Vaughn he said how do you feel about other youtubers copying your video ideas I feel like when people say this it's usually like in a negative tone but I don't really see it like that and I don't really see it as copying other it may have like a similar thumbnail or title like or it's a similar concept, but everyone has their own unique way of putting a spin on things, whether it's their personality or maybe they put a twist on the video, like specifically on what they do. So I don't really see it as copying. I see it more as inspiration. And for anyone who goes above and beyond, you know, gives me credit in the description or in the video itself, then that's all much appreciated. But I all see it as positive. There's nothing wrong with it, in my opinion. If they're quote unquote copying, then I must be doing something right. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the wheel now. What do we got here? <laughs> Why are labs becoming so OP? Labs being worth 600 points is insane. And now what do we got for our second wheel? spin it's gonna go ahead and <laughs> bro, all right bro this is getting so crazy a 650 point layup let's see what happens in these next two minutes curry wide open from mid-range well he, uh, you know that was actually good he missed it he honest those down for 100 points putting them at a thousand points lebron going to the basket lays it up and gets fouled a potential 200 point play here for lebron first free throw up and good got some more subs coming in for both teams and lebron missed the second free throw lebron driving throws it down just made that 100 back kobe going to the basket throws it out an easy dunk man this had all these good off-ball screen. Jokic working on the post. Oh, Kareem gets fouled. First free throw for Jokic. Got it to go. And now everyone's full bench units are in. We got three seconds left here. Two seconds. One second. I'm gonna pause it. And now we have two more amazing wheel spins. What do we got here?
your dunk plus 50. Okay. That puts the dunks at 150. And then for our second wheel spin, please don't be any more laps. We're good off those. No, 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 bro. There's no way. The laps are a literal gold mine. Durant, step back midi. Got it. That means absolutely nothing. AI going to the basket here. Lays it up and in. That's a 750 point layup. KD for three. Knocks it down. What a shot. T Mac open from three. Oh my, bro. They're making every shot. T Mac for three. Oh my, bro. T Mac is water. Curry with the layup. Got it to go. That's 750 points. We got three seconds left here. Two, one. And we're going to go ahead and pause it with the Lakers having a 450 point lead. What do we got next here on the wheel? It's going to go ahead and be free throw times two. That's nice. Now we have each free throw being worth 200 points. And for our second wheel spin, that's going to go ahead and be. <laughs> bro, this is, this is so stupid. I promise you, everything is evenly on the board. Like everything is for the same amount. And layup is just getting landed on so many times. T Mac using the screen with. Shaq, T-Mac driving to the basket here. Dimes at the Shaq. Shaq might want to go up with this. Lays it up and in. That's set, or 800 points. Sorry. Dr. J trying to go to work here. Step back midi. That's disgusting. He missed it. Shaq with the putback layup. Another 800 points for the Bulls. Let's see if the Lakers can try to get a layup here. Closing it out and PG throws it down for 150 points. Curry wide open from three. Knocks it down. It's going to be 100 points for the Lakers. Shaq working on the potion with five seconds left. Going to work. Pump fake in. Oh, you got to put it up. That's a hook. Oh, he missing. That'll end the first quarter. We got a question here from King Marlin WW on Twitter. What is your favorite heat moment of all time? I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to give you my top three. Number three is last year in the conference finals. Game six, Jimmy Butler dropping 46. That was insane. Number two is the Ray Allen shot. We all know that. And my number one moment is game five of the 2020 finals. It was just Jimmy and LeBron going back and forth for like three minutes straight. Just bucket for bucket, bro. That was so fun to watch. And it was just an amazing finals experience to see. Even though it was in the bubble, I got all that. But that was probably my favorite heat moment of all time there's other ones out there like lebron hitting the game seven dagger there's plenty of other shots and stuff like that the lob to lebron over jason terry but you know that that one's prop those three are probably my favorite and our second question here is from tyler foster yes what is your favorite part of doing youtube i think nowadays i like to treat every single one of my videos like they're their own project so i guess really being able to put something together then see the results come through and seeing people really love what you put out like that's probably the best part there's other little things like managing your own hours and you know you kind of you, you're your own boss and you do whatever you want and you can be as creative as you want you have that landscape but i would say the best thing is just really putting something together being proud of it and then seeing how people react to it that's probably the best part but let's go ahead and get these two wheel spins for the second quarter it's gonna go ahead and be three pointer times two okay finally some shooting that put the threes up to 200 points a pop and then for our second wheel spin we're gonna go ahead and get mid-range plus 100 so we can finally score in every single way possible let's start seeing those mid-range jumpers go down oh my god team at contested oh my god how did he make that Oh, KD, what a pump faking shot. That was beautiful. How did he not? He, he made a white. Kawhi going down the basket here. Lays it up. Oh, my God. That would have been a crazy and one. First free throw for Kawhi. Got it to go. That's 200 points. Second free throw for Kawhi. And they'll reach 3,000 points. All right. Well, there's two seconds left. So that'll mark the end of that. But we got a pretty close game here. Let's see if the wheel will make layups worth 1,000 points now. What do we got here? It's going to be three point plus 100. Three pointers worth 300 points. Seems pretty fitting. And for our second wheel spin, that's going to go ahead and be dunk times two. So now we have dunks being worth. 300 points as well. Kawhi working on the post here on Kobe. Going up with it. And he got it. That's 800 points for the Lakers. Shaq getting the lob. Puts it up and in. Another 800 points for the Bulls. They are so close to 5,000 points. Jordan driving to the basket. Dives with the Kobe. Kobe throws it down. I mean, it's still 300 points. They'll take it. Kobe on the fast break here. Dives with the Jordan. Jordan throws it down. Another 300 points for the Bulls. And that's going to be 5,000 points for the Bulls. LeBron cut off the screen here. Pulls the midi. Knocks it down a cool little 100 points for the Lakers. We got three seconds left here. If LeBron wants to get a shot off here really quick, goes up and he got it to go. And that puts the Lakers at 4,750 points. Got some more wheel spins here. First one's going to go ahead and be three point plus 50. Moving the three pointer to 350. Come on, let's make that lab worth 1,000 points. That sounds pretty good to me. A mid range plus 100. Okay. So now the mini's worth 200 points. Kobe wide open from three. Knocks it down. Big shot from Kobe. Oh, man, what a pass from Kobe gets blocked, but foul. A chance for Bird to get 400 points here. First one up and good. Second free throw for Bird, and it's in. Eight seconds left on the shot. Lou drives in the basket, gets fouled, and one counted. What a play for the Lakers. So that's going to put LA at 5,500 points, and this free throw will put him at 5,700 points. LeBron using AD screen, pulling up with the midi. Got it to go. 200 points for the Lakers. We got four seconds left here. Three, two, 
One, we're gonna go ahead and pause it. The Lakers now have a hundred point lead. Now we got two more questions here. First one from user detected. Do you ever get stage fright? I don't know if you mean like just recording YouTube videos or literal stage fright, like being up in front of people like that. I don't have much experience being on stage except for like I guess playing in a high school. Is, is that count as a stage playing in a high school basketball game or playing the clarinet in middle school? Like that's really all I got. But as far as recording videos, you kind of get so used to it that it's it's not really like a stage, I, I guess. But you get really used to it because you're kind of just sitting by yourself talking into a microphone by yourself so it is kind of weird at first but you get used to it as you go on but you guys know i talk fast so there's a lot of times that i stutter and mess up so there's definitely a lot of re-recordings of certain things that i have to make sure i say the right thing because i just keep stuttering and saying the wrong thing so you know that does happen but stage fright eh, not really and our second question is from the weapon 902 he said what's your favorite food of all time easily without a doubt a chicken parm sandwich i've been eating them for years it is the ease of my favorite food not even close chicken parm sandwich all the way and now we're back to some more wheel content we're gonna go ahead and get dunk plus 50 now dunks are worth 350 points and then our second wheel spins gonna go ahead and beat dunk times two wow so pretty much anytime you want to attack the basket yeah you're getting a lot of points for that kobe one of them from three knocks it down that was quick lebron why don't what the hell kind of three was he knocked that down 350 points for the lakers kobe for three again knocks it down kobe is a sniper right now mj wide open from three knocks it down everyone's making everything Oh my god, what a pass from LeBron! Lays it up in that 800 points for the Lakers! You got six seconds left here. Five, four, three. Kobe pump faking. Two seconds left. Kobe dropped in the basket. Throws it down. We gotta pause it. And that'll put the Bulls at 7,550 points. I didn't think this would be potentially over before halftime. We got three quarter plus 100. I also didn't think layups and dunks would be worth that much before halftime. But what do we got here for the second wheel spin? It's gonna go ahead and be three pointer plus 50. So that puts a three at 500 points. LeBron coming off the screen here. Driving in the basket. Euro step. Weapon, get blocked by Kareem AD. Pump faking goes up. Gets fouled. Two huge free throws for the Lakers. First one up. Okay, I thought he missed it. Second free throw for the Lakers. And it's in. Dr. J driving to the basket here. Floats it up. Gets blocked. Kareem with the rebound. Lays it up and in. 800 points for the Bulls. KD. Brick. Jokic got the putback though. Throws it down. That's going to be 700 points. Kareem going to work in the post here on Jokic. Banging down low. Going up with the light. That's 800 points for the Bulls. Durant wide open from three. Knocks it down, 500 points for the Lakers. Dr. J from three. Everyone's making threes, 500 points. We got two seconds left here, one second. We're gonna go ahead and pause it. We got ourselves two more wheel spins. First one's gonna be free throw times two. Each free throw is now worth 400 points. Getting an and one dunk or layup would be insane. We got three pointer plus 100 for the second one. Nothing's worth 1,000 yet, but we're getting there. Jokic in the post, what the hell was that shot? Rebound, AD throws it down, 700 points for the Lakers. Paul George for three. Wrist it, rebound by Jokic. Jokic going to the post. Don't put that up. Do not put that up. He got fouled. And what for Jokic? That's going to put the Lakers at 10,000 points. And Jokic with the free throw. Got it to go to another 400 points. T-Mac for three. Jesus Christ, he does not miss. T-Mac trying to drive to the basket here. Lays it up in it, bro. T-Mac has been insane. Five seconds left in the half. KD trying to drive here. Going up. Pump faking. Missed the layup. And that's going to end the half with the Bulls having a 400-point lead. All right, we got two more questions here from Twitter. Our first question here comes from Snow Guy. He asks, how long have you been dating your girlfriend? And does she know about you doing YouTube before you met? Now, if you don't know, I do have a main channel where I, you know, pretty much started my YouTube career. Now I'm over here on the second channel here, as you can see now. But I do have a few videos on my main channel with her and us doing some 2K type content but i've been with her for about three years a little over three years now and she knew about me being a youtuber before we were together but she's been through all the ups and downs everything like that and i love her to death so you know i'm uh, you know hopefully with her until you know hey man we're not gonna you know get hypotheticals but for a very long time we'll see where it goes and this will be the second question i've been getting this question so much and i really wish i could answer this question you know like with a real answer but here's the question what are your plans for the main channel i have to be honest with you i have no idea i really don't know what lane i want to take with the mansion off i want to keep doing 2k content over there if i want to switch up do some type of sort of basketball content or do something completely different i have no idea and until i have a locked in answer on for sure what i want to do then i will do it but for the time being it's just gonna kind of sit there and I'm, i apologize to everyone who used to watch my main channel and watch those videos you know i had a lot of fun making that content it was great um but for now we're just gonna sit over here and do what i'm doing now over here if it ain't broke don't fix it and um until i find something i really love and want to be a part of for the main channel then i'll actually decide to do it all right well let's get into the second half i amped up the world to make it even crazier we got three pointer times too 
And now three pointers are worth 1,200 points. Okay. And for our second wheel spin, that's going to go ahead and. <laughs> okay. Okay. A 2,400 point three pointer. Okay. It didn't even fit on the screen. I got to reorganize it. Well, here goes the second half. The brightness of the screen. LeBron pulled from three or from 2,400 and knocks it down. Bird using the screen here from Shaq. Oh, what a lob past the Shaq at 700 points. Bird driving to the basket here gets fouled. Oh, almost had the end one. Bird with the first free throw. Get to the go. I subtracted 50 points from both of their scores. It'll make it a lot easier for me to do the math for the rest of this video. The 50 points, if that ends up being the difference somehow, which it definitely won't be. It is what it is. But Bird with the second free throw here, and that's 400 points. Oh my god, what a lot pass. Lays it up, and then 800 points for the Lakers. MJ wide open with the midi. Only 200 points, but they'll take it. LeBron driving to the basket here. Step back midi. That was not worth it, man. Rebound by Giannis, though. Puts it up and gets fouled. Giannis with the first free throw. Knocks it down. Second free throw for Giannis, and that might be off. Yep. I completely forgot to pause the game. Again, it's I'm, I'm keeping track of so much. I apologize, but we're going to pause. At least both teams are playing under the same rules. It is what it is. Let's see what the first wheel spin is. Mid -range, bleh, sorry, mid-range plus two. That helped. You definitely want every shot on the court to be valuable. Second wheel spin here. We're going to go ahead and get layup times two. Layup times two. Three-pointer would have been insane. But now layups are worth 1,600. We're still going to play to the eight-minute mark here. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Magic driving gets fat. Oh, I thought he made it. First free throw is in. Second free throw to make this a 700-point game, and he got it. Five seconds left here on the shot clock. Braun posting up three seconds, trying to get position. Go up with it and he got it 1600 points for the lakers they're gonna work here on the post and mb little fade god we'll count that as a midi mj trying to drive to the basket here hop step and going up gets found and one counted that's a huge shot that put the balls at 15,400, and that free throw will give them the lead lebron oh my god that was nasty what a shot from lebron 400 points you got four seconds left here three two one he got fouled wow got a chance to take the lead here first one up and good second free throw for mj and he got it went ahead and paused the game with the bulls having a 500 point lead let's see if we can get crazy with these next two wheels we're gonna go ahead and get free throw plus 200 that's big so if you just get to the free throw line and make both free throws you're getting a thousand points second wheel spin's gonna go ahead and be three pointer plus 200 if it couldn't get any higher now we got the three at 2600 lebron trying to drive to the basket here lays it up easy lays 1600 points luca trying to go go to the basket just go to the basket gets fouled first free throw for 600 points got it second free throw for luca and it's in Giannis rolling to the basket lobs it up throws it down 700 points dirk with the midi oh he got fouled first free throw for dirk and it's in second free throw for dirk and he got it we got three seconds left here not sure there's gonna be a shot to get off one second and we're gonna pause it all right we got two more questions here first one from fly how tall am i i'm about six foot then our second question here's from Veli. not sure if i said your name right but here's the question most overrated and underrated 2k i would say the most overrated is probably 2k 13 just because the uh, i mean the soundtrack was really nice and the, the gameplay was just god awful. It was trash. But it was like the first year for my team and stuff like that. So that's why it was cool. But gameplay was trash. The, the game was just overall kind of trash. But I mean, the soundtrack was really cool and, and all that stuff. But pretty overrated. And then the most underrated 2K for me, I'm not going to lie, is probably 18. Although that game, I know it is awful. It's just terrible. It was a lot of fun to play. I played a lot of team up and just my team, all that kind of stuff. I know the game was garbage, but I personally had a lot of fun on 2K18. So that's probably the most underrated 2K for me. I went ahead and spiced up the wheel a little more. So every upgrade it is a multiplier three pointer times two so now every three is worth 5200 points and our second upgrade is going to go ahead and be free throw times three so every free throw is worth 1800 points they're running a pin down screen for dirk dirk oh it's a two he made it still but jesus christ the bulls run on the fast break here bird trying to drive to the basket nothing there for what the hell is that shot that's an insane shot dirk with the offensive rebound pump faking and he laid it up and in lebron for three wide open Knocks it down, 5,200 points for the Lakers. And that put them at 24,800 points. Oh, what a dime there to Kobe with the layup. 1,600 points for them. Two seconds left here, one second, gonna pause it. And now we have two more amazing wheel spins. First one's gonna be three-pointer times two. Yeah, you know, each three just being worth 10,000 points, no biggie. And for our second wheel spin, that's gonna go ahead and be free throw times two. Well, if you get to the foul line or make a three, you're in good shape. Paul George driving to the basket here, pump fake. Oh, I thought he was gonna go up with that. Jokic, what the hell kind of shot he got fouled though? First free throw for Jokic. Knocks it down. Second free throw for the Jokic to give him the 30,000 points. He got it. Dirk, what what the hell was that? Well, it's going to potentially give him 7,000 points, so I guess they'll take it. Second free throw for Dirk to give him 28,000 points. He got it. Durant with a midi. 
Knocked it down. 400 points. Oh, what a lob pass. Wow, what a throw down from Shaq. 700 points there. KD driving to the basket here. Nothing there for him. Goes up with the hook. Missed it. Rebound. Giannis puts it up. Gets blocked by Shaq. Jokic with the rebound. Puts it up and in. That's 1,600 points. Iverson trying to drive. Gets fouled by Curry. And these two free throws are going to put him ahead of the Lakers. That was a quick comeback. Second free throw for AI. And it's good. Kobe trying to drive here on PG. Goes up with the lay. Gets it to go. 600 points for the Bulls. Jokic working here on the post on Shaq. Spinning off. Going up. That was a tough try. Oh, I got to pause the game. I forgot. But the Bulls now have a 4,000 point lead. Can we make the scoring even crazier? What do we got now? Oh, I was about to say, layup times three is still insane. That's going to be 4,800 points for a layup. And then our second wheel spin is going to go. Okay, we'll see. Now now it's where it gets ridiculous. 20,000 points for knocking down a three, and it's, it's just getting off screen yet again. I got to fix it. Okay, there we go. Lakers are on the fast break. Curry, deep three. Oh, he knocks it down. That's 20,000 points for Steph Curry. Shaq going to try to respond here in the post. Pump faking going up gets fouled. So they'll get some points here. Not 20,000, but they'll get some. Second free throw for Shaq, and that is definitely off. Four seconds left here. Kawhi's wide open. Hit him. Kawhi for... Uh, okay, that is not... If he passed it earlier, he would have made it. All right, we got a question here from NBA 2K Kings. He asks, favorite NBA and NFL player, and do you like Madden? My favorite NBA player is Jimmy Butler. My favorite NFL player was Cam Newton, but now he's off doing podcasts and making YouTube videos. So my new favorite player player now is Trevor Lawrence and I do like Madden I probably play Madden more than I play 2k just kind of casually but I do play both of them pretty often I play a lot of team up here and they're like just play now online and I play a lot of mud and I'll play play now online on Madden as well so yeah I play them pretty heavily and our second question is LBM clips asks, who is the goat in your book this is gonna sound like a very PC answer and not really giving an answer but I think MJ is the greatest player of all time but I think LeBron is the best player well let's go ahead and get these next two wheel spins here we're gonna go ahead and get free throw times three so now every free throw is worth 10,800 points and our second wheel spins gonna go ahead and be free throw times three so the next team to get to the free throw line and make both free throws is the winner <laughs> that's great paul george gives it to ad ad throws it down only 700 points there oh no kareem working on the poster just don't foul him ad just oh what a block from ad Giannis gonna work in the post now he's got takeover let's see if he gets the angle he does oh and he gets fouled this is to win the game for you gotta make both though first free throw oh my god he just missed a 32,000 point free throw but he made the second curry trying to drive oh midi jesus man it's only 400 points kobe driving to the basket down to the bird gets fouled larry bird to seal the victory first free throw is in there is no way larry bird's gonna miss a free throw and it's good putting team jordan at 106,500 points making them the winner of this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you for 100k you guys changed my life goodbye